segment 11 of me building the black pearl the golden version for 2021 and I'll bring you up to date on the progress that I've made personally I think it's looking pretty good and I think most of you will agree let me give you some close-ups and show you what I've accomplished since the last episode I put another coat of tongue oil on a lot of the top side I completed all the stairs you can see I've added this rail in with the supports underneath and more importantly, the more decorative stairs. As you progress through the rest of the video, if you're using this as a tool to help you build, I had a real disaster with the stairs and was able to correct it. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. It'll be featured within the video. I have the two cannons put in place under the stairs because it would be very difficult to do the rope work with the stairs in place. I've added the ladders that go on the exterior of the ship, and I'm assuming they're both ladders. I'm not sure why there's two. Maybe someone out there knows, but there are two on each side. I know in the last video I featured some rope work. I think I've added a few more back in this area, possibly. Here's the other set of ladders. I think that's about it. So if you'd like more detail, just continue watching the video as I will go into the details of actually producing, making the ladders, and also some information on putting those cannons together. My apologies to everyone. I did not videotape my doing the gold leaf on this piece that goes on the back of the ship. I should have because in my opinion, it has turned out outstanding. I'm very impressed by the items supplied by the kit, but then after you do the gold leaf, I'm very impressed with the quality of the detail. That's why I've included the card that came with the gold leaf. Now this is supposedly 23 karat gold, actual gold. I had no way of checking it other than what the company said online. And then I did take some of the gold leaf and I took a, a uh, flame to it and it did not burn and it stayed gold. So supposedly that means it's the legit stuff. This will give you a little bit of an idea what it's gonna look like on the back of the ship. Some clarification information if you're actually building this ship. And to the naked eye, this is very hard to see, but it's, I believe, A39. It's a ladder, however, when you go to the parts sheet, A39 is listed as across the top. Now what gives you a clue, it has a slight curvature to it at one end. And then when you go over to placard A, it does not match up. According to that drawing, they should be up here somewhere and they are not. They're actually down here. And they differ from all the other ones in that little curvature that you can see right there, the tip of my index finger. Another area of clarification, aside from this ladder, is this one here. And these are just steps going up the side of the ship. They're marked part 60. If you go to part 60 in your list, because it doesn't have an A in front of it, 60 is a wood ladder. There's one, and it just gives information of check the color picture. Well, all they are are steps. There's no side rails to these. I found them inside the container with the miscellaneous parts, the cannons, and all those things. And they were just these wooden steps sitting in there. So that's where those are, and I hope that clarification helps in your build. In building this particular model, I've learned something about myself my eyes are not capable of centering between something. This, for example, I visually thought this was centered when I put it on, and they are consistently a little off center, which that's fine with me. It looks good because it's equally off center on each one. On these ladders, when I started to put them on, I thought I, because I started at the, at the base of this, uh, 
cross member and then I put another one up here and they were dramatically off. So I solved that by putting a piece of painter's tape and that gives me a straight line up the ship. So if you have that problem where you're unable to visually center something correctly, try the tape. I've started working on the main stairs, the ones that have the curvature to them up the front of the ship and there's two sets of them. And after looking closely, because these stairs have to be larger than these, these three are marked E6. E6 is this rather long board here. So I'm just assuming that those three you just have to cut and fit in, which I have done already. So the bottom three are made from that E6. The upper ones are off of C, and you can see they're pre-cut. What I did where the little cutout is, I put that towards the back. So that's the back side of the stairs. The balusters are marked H8, and it indicates to go ahead and assemble it to A22, and that's what I've done. All of the engravings are on one side, so from one side of the ship, you'll see all the engravings. From the other side, it'll be more of a plain wood. And because they're all on the same side, when I put it on the opposite side, they're still going to face the same direction. I suppose I could take a knife, a hot knife, and etch those in myself, something to consider. The other thing I've discovered is I don't really want to glue the stairs in place because I have one cannon that I need to work on back there and, and get the rope work done. So I'm going to pre-assemble them as much as I can and then I'm going to switch to a couple cannons. On this second staircase, what I've done is I've laid the um, the lower support on my workbench I've flipped it over so I'm working from the back side and I know it's very difficult to tell well there you can see so I'm working from the back side put a slight slant to those glued that side in place and then I'll come in and insert the other side and I'm going to do that before I make the larger ones that go across this way. I had a little bit of a disaster, my fault, when I was attaching these rails. And I've, I've figured out that if I attach it about like this, it should fit pretty well. And this very last one wasn't touching the wood, so I pushed down to force it thinking it would flex and bend and because of the angle this one broke and it was a cascading disaster every one of them snapped off at the same spot fortunately there are three additional so what I'm thinking is I'll take three out the two ends in the center replace it with these and then try to glue the remaining two back into place. I'm having one of those days where nothing went right. Although I was able to repair the staircase, so I have them both made. But in the process, I had accidentally glued a little bit of paper on the side of one of them. So, as you know, fingernail polish remover will dissolve super glue but in the process of trying to do that I knocked over the bottle and it covered this entire area getting some of my wood wet it drenched these but so far the only ramification is there's a little white residue probably from the super glue trying to evaporate and uh, that was not good. So I sopped it up as best I could. I 
air dried the wood. There doesn't seem to be any ramifications. This stuff evaporates very quickly. I'm probably happy I had this paper on top of my workbench, but when I take it off, the paint may have been affected. I don't know how well much it's soaked through. But if it can happen, it will happen. When you use this, before you start rubbing something next to it, put the lid back on or move it out of the way. Another area of real fine detail is the base of the staircase where this rail comes down. These pieces on top and the piece on the bottom. And if you look at them very closely, the top piece is just a very small circle. But the, and there is a circle that that glues inside of and it's a little off center. And then there's a pie shaped cutout. Same on the very bottom piece. And I took that bottom triangle out because I think what you do is the bottom of the staircase fits in that just like that. And then this builds this up to reach the top handrail. However, I don't think it's going to be the right distance, so I may have to add a little piece to get that to the right height. But I do think those little triangular pieces are meant to be taken out, and that's why they're lasered. The top one has the exact same thing, and that may be for the, the, the uh, handrail actually fit in that also. Undecided on that yet, but it makes sense to me. If nothing else, it rests on top of it, but I think because it's the same shape, it should go right into it. But again, I'm going to have to build it up more to make that fit, I think. Something else that I've discovered or determined is I think you're better off putting it all together having it all match up here at the edge because if you don't it's almost impossible to get the stairs and the rail to line up whereas this way you can line up the rail and with the rail lined up then you can have the stairs suspended and right where they need to be so that's just my opinion that's how I'm doing it I have made a couple of cannons and I'll point out one thing the metal clamps that hold the cannon, there's a, a bar across the cannon, maybe you can see it here. And these are securing that down, theoretically. And I made them out of copper, but it's so tiny, so what I did is I took a piece of copper wire, this is a single strand from an old lamp cord, so I took the, the cord off and then unwrapped all the individual copper wires then I take that then I take it over to this vise and it has a little pounding surface on it and and then I take a hammer and just lightly tap it until it gets to the the thickness that I want and then I'll take it and Get the shape by just bending it. To get the shape I want, I bend it around the stem of one of the cannons. And then I will just bend the two ends out. So that gives me that look of the metal strap that's holding the cannon down. And here's the finished product. I've tied all the strings on it that I'm going to uh, secure it to the ship with. Most of the examples I found showed two back here, but just to save work, I'm just going to do one and then two from the sides. And then the thickest one will crisscross over the back of the barrel. So here's a completed cannon with all the rope work and that top thicker crossover rope that'll go to the rings that are already on the ship. Here is a view of my first staircase and cannon put in place. 
I was able to get things to match up pretty well at the top. I need to stain that because I sanded that off a little bit. And I have the last pedestal that goes down here. But I think I can work to fit that in. And that cannon is a little bit hidden, but that's okay. That was my first one, so it was a good one to start with. So I will continue on with the other staircase. So that's it for episode 11. I'm going to be uh, off for a few weeks enjoying some sunshine, so I'll pick up the build when I get back. If for some reason you've been watching the series and have not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would. It helps me out and it helps anyone out on YouTube if you become a subscriber. So again, thanks for watching. This is Boiler Dan one where my motto is I know a little bit about everything, a whole lot about nothing, and still learning about model shipbuilding. And thanks to some of the viewers that reach out and give me ideas and advice. It's actually helped me a lot on this video. Thanks again.